hello students of class 3 I welcome you once again to this video today we're going to start with your lesson number lesson 12 the name of the topic is a uh, gift for grandfather okay a gift for grandfather it is adapted from an Indonesian story by Jusran Safano before we go detail about the story let's see to the words meaning crystal clear absolutely clean there was no trace of him here he could not be found rupiahs currency of indonesia sarong type of dress worn by indonesian man and woman in unison all together so let's start with the story once a boy named bakru lived in a peaceful village in the mountains a river ran through the village and the villagers hear its crystal clear waters rushing past every night. Each morning at dawn, they also heard the echoing voice of Bakru's grandfather from the Mox Tower. So student, this is the Mox Tower, okay? Calling the villagers for the morning prayers. Today, however, there was no sound of his call from the Mox. What could have happened? Wonder Bakru. Is grandfather sick? At first, Bakru wanted to go directly to grandfather's house. However, he didn't like missing the morning prayers. That means he thought that uh, his grandfather was sick because every morning uh, there was always a sound of his grandfather calling from the mosque. But this morning, he did not hear any sound, so he thought that his grandfather might be sick. So at first, Bakru thought that uh, he thought to go directly to visit grandfather's house, but he didn't like missing the morning prayer. So after prayers at the mosque, he searched for yeah. grandfather, but there was no trace of him, and nobody knew where he was. He decided to go to grandfather's house, but, but suddenly he stopped. Should not I take a gift for grandfather? This was the time of year for grand, gathering mankang, a nut that his grandfather loved. So student mankang is a kind of nuts that is available in Indonesia. Okay, this is the mankang nuts. It is a hot, the outer Mm, the outer cover is very hard, but inside you will find nuts. Okay, it's very tasty and it's very popular in Indonesia. Then, yes, I'll gather nuts for grandfather, thought Bakru. So, Bakru thought that I should take some gifts um, for grandfather, uh, like manka nuts, uh, to which uh, he his favorite nuts, okay, his, father, uh, his grandfather's favorite nuts. Then, Bakru hurriedly walked towards Nut Hill where the finest the finest mankang, mankang nuts grew. What a pleasant surprise it could be for a grandfather to get the gift of these nuts. Their shells were very hard and grandfather could use them for carving his famous ring rings. This could be sold for fifty rupees each. If he gathered enough nuts for a hundred rings grandfather could be so happy so he thought that why uh, I should go to towards Nut Hill where the finest mankang nuts grew and he also thought that uh, he will collect lots because with the help of that shell the cover the outer co cover of the shell uh, grandfather can use for car carving his famous ring okay so with the shell uh, his grandfather usually make rings okay so he said that he'll be very much happy and he can sell uh, he can sell the mankan rings for 50 rupees and if he gather enough nuts for 100 rings grandfather could be so happy but bagru thought suppose other boys from the village have already gathered all the nuts he began to walk faster he ran up to nut hill where when he reached the grove of mankan trees he was delighted to see the ground covered with, nanka, with nuts so you can see a picture also okay that uh, he uh, the uh, the nuts was all over the ground okay and bakru was 
uh, happily gathering the nuts in his sarong okay sarong means that a uh, type of dress worn by indonesia man and woman okay then suddenly he heard voices it must be the boys from the village he thought if they find that i have gathered all the nuts they'll be angry and probably take them away Bak bakrut uh, quickly crawled inside a clump of bushes and hide himself as best as he could soon he saw five boys older and stronger than him towards uh, walking towards the tree they looked at the ground puzzled we have come too late cried one disappointed boy there is not a single nut left okay as you can see that those five boys take him to towards uh, walking towards the tree and they were surprised to see that uh, there was there's not a single nut left and uh, one boy said that i think we have come too late so that's why and somebody have already picked them up and another say another say that there's not a single nut left someone maybe have uh, uh, came early and pick it up all almost in unison means almost all together the boys crowd out bakru he must have been here one boy added he is always up before dawn for prayers in the bushes bakru felt more scared okay the miss bakru was hiding bakru was hiding the five boys were searching uh, the nuts but uh, we uh, but bakru was hiding under the bushes okay and he was listening to them uh, in the bushes bakru felt more scared he was feeling more scared then look what all the boys said pointing to a moist patch of dew under a tree his footprints he must have just left with the nuts we can catch him and take the nuts from him the elder the eldest boy Uh, look thoughtfully finally he said no that's unfair he got up early to go to the mosque and get here before us while we were snugly asleep if we want nuts we'll better get up early instead of taking his nuts away from him then suddenly one of them one boy saw one footprint so it was a footprint of bakru yeah. then they said let's go and catch him but another boy said that no he have uh, he have he got up early Uh, uh in the morning before us and so he have to have he have uh, you know he came he came uh, for taking the nuts waking up early and we better uh, we should have better wake up early uh, in order to get the nuts why we, why should we snatch away uh, the nuts uh, from somebody who woke up early then uh, early before us and he came all the way to the nut hill to collect the nuts so it will be very unfair for him if we snatch away the nuts the other boys look at him sheepishly they, they knew that if they had not been lazy they have had nuts of their own on hearing this bagru was deeply moved suddenly he stood up and called after the boys that means he bagru was listening to them and he was feeling very bad for them after uh, he heard all the conversation then suddenly he stood up and turned and um, he stood up and called after boys and he called them then the boys stopped and turned towards bagru astonished breathing deeply bagru said i'm sorry i took all the nuts here you take some after all we're friends and we should share what we have then uh, he said that Uh, I have took I have collected all the nuts. I'm so sorry for that. So as we are all friends, so we will share all the nuts together. Then the five look uh, the the five look first at Bakru and then at each other. Finally, the eldest boy said, "No, Bakru, they're they're yours because you got up early and gathered them. I really want you to have them," said Bakru. "I had planned to take them to grandfather because I thought he might be ill." but he'll be happy with my share i saw your grandfather talking to a neighbor said one of the boys he said that he had caught a cold but he could go to the mosque soon one boy then said i have an idea bagru will share his his nuts with us and then we'll all go and give them to grandfather then ultimately what happened bagru share 
uh, his nuts to all the boys and all the boys together with Bagru Devan and visit uh, to grandfather. Okay. With, with their arms around each other soldier and the boys walked towards grandfather with his present. That means they all went together happily and they have taken, have taken their shares in order to give gifts to grandfather. Okay. So, this is the end of the story dear students. I hope it's very much clear to you. Okay. So, that's all. Thank you.